Before I deliver this very important message to you, I just want to warn you that this may upset you, this might scare you, okay? This might rile up some emotions from within. So I just wanted to give you that respect that if you don't, you don't want any of that right now, you can go ahead and move away from this video. But for those of you who are gonna stick around, I just wanted to give you that warning. Now, the reason why I'm making this video is because last night I was on a car ride with my family and we had a close call, like we almost got into a car accident. And I'll get into that in just a moment, but it, it's not just that. It's all these other things that have been happening in my life that have really kind of, just kind of reiterated to, in my mind about what's really important. Now, if you're anything like me, okay, you're all about wanting to become the best version of yourself, okay? You wanna be the best mom you can be, the best dad you can be, the best entrepreneur you can be, the best worker at your company that you can be, right? But ultimately, I don't know about you, but I, I find myself in this, in this like balancing act where it's really difficult to maintain all those things and at the same time, I lose focus on what is really important. And I don't know about you, but for me personally, every breath that I take, every ounce of sweat that drips off my forehead as I'm like head down working on something, okay, it's all for my family. It's like, it's the life I want to provide for them. It's the legacy I want to leave behind for them. It's the time that I want to be able to spend with them after the fact. And now what I'm getting at is that that is not guaranteed. It's not guaranteed. Your family is not guaranteed. Your loved ones are not guaranteed. They're not. Not at all. Okay. And, um, Excuse me. For instance, in the matter of just a few weeks, I've had several close people to me pass away. Like literally had a conversation with them face to face. And then a week later, I received a text that she's no longer with us. Okay. Think of just like, I'm sure that happens to you all the time. Okay. But it's not just instances like that. It's not just instances like that. Like when you're parting ways with your family in the morning because everyone's going to work, everyone's going to school, like it's not guaranteed that you're gonna see them at the end of the day. I don't watch the news, but I know it's on it. And I know you see what it is that I'm talking about, the shootings, the hostage situations at work and at school and all this crazy stuff, like it's not guaranteed. And I'm not trying to scare you. I'm just trying to serve as a reminder that all of these things that we stress about are probably not important. They're probably not important as we think they are. Now what happened last night is we went on a ride and it was dark out and we were on like some windy roads and you know, a truck came flying around the corner and almost hit us. And it was so scary. Like I was scared, you know? I tried not to make a big deal about it because I didn't want anybody else to be scared. But it was just a simple, the simple fact of it, and it was on their side. So I don't know how, how we all would have been impacted by that, but it was like, I'm sitting here thinking like, wow, like what if I was the one who survived this and I lost my wife and son because somebody isn't paying attention to how they're driving. And, you know, it's, I, again, I'm sorry, I'm emotional right now. So I'm probably t starting to ramble. So I'm gonna just try and focus. My message to you is to, be present in the moment when you're with people is to is to kiss them goodbye because you don't know if you're going to see them again. It doesn't matter how old, how young they are. It doesn't matter. And I, I just I just want to to serve as that reminder because I know that I need it sometimes. And I'm sure that maybe you might need that sometimes, too. So with that said, I just. I'm gonna wrap this video up. So I just wanna thank you for spending your time with me. I don't, you know, my personal belief is that time is the most precious asset that we have in this world. Like one of the most, at least, like we can't get it back. So I thank you for spending this time for me, with me, you're not with your family, you're not working on what's important to you. You took some time to spend it with me. And with that said, I just wanna thank you. And I really hope that this served as a reminder for you to just, to not take the things for granted that we often do while we're trying to be the best at everything. Okay, I love you and I, I sincerely hope that you have a fantastic day and just go out there and crush it, crush it. But when you're done, be done and be present in the moment with your family. Don't be thinking about work. Don't be, don't do that. 
It's going to take away from everything else. Be present in the moment. I love you. I hope you have a fantastic day.